Palestinian Islamist group Hamas rampaged through Israeli towns on Saturday, killing and capturing scores of civilians and soldiers in their biggest surprise attack in decades. The group distributed these videos Saturday from inside an Israeli military camp near the border of Gaza. Reuters couldn't immediately verify the videos, which display what is said to be bodies of Israeli soldiers brought into Gaza by fighters. Israel then responded with massive airstrikes deep inside the coastal enclave that led to the collapse of buildings and vowed unprecedented retaliation. During a security cabinet meeting, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, Since this morning, the state of Israel has been at war. Our first objective is to clear out enemy forces that infiltrated and restore the security and quiet to the communities that have been attacked. The second objective, at the same time, is to exact an immense price from the enemy within the Gaza Strip too. Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh said the assault that had begun in Gaza would spread to the West Bank and Jerusalem. This was the morning of defeat and humiliation upon our enemy, its soldiers, and its settlers, he said, adding, What happened reveals the greatness of our preparation. What happened today reveals the weakness of the enemy. In southern Israel near Gaza, bullet holes filled the windshield of a car as bodies were found nearby while rockets lit up the night sky as fighting progressed into the night. Hamas said it fired 150 of them toward Tel Aviv in retaliation for the Israeli strike that took down a building.
تتولى عجول الفن التي لم نرى منها الا الهزائم والخيانات. علي صوتك We have just now had a direct hit from a missile in the hospital. We are just now trying to evaluate the damages that are being caused to the hospital. Um, this has been a very, very difficult day and an even more difficult night. <laughs> נזק משמעותי לבית החולים, נזק משמעותי לציוד ותשתיות, בפריקה של קעבה, פגיעה באתר חדרי ניתוח, אשפוז יום, במחלקת נשים. What I think is going to happen is you're going to have Israelis coming together on the need to both recover hostages that have reportedly been taken, but also to, to teach Hamas a lesson. I think where you're going to start seeing Israeli problems is the decision to stop fighting. On the one hand, members of, of Prime Minister Netanyahu's coalition are going to say, this is absolutely where we need to press forward, press forward, press forward. Others are going to say, well, the international community has lost patience. We have achieved what we need to achieve. Let's stop. And I think the real problem for Benjamin Netanyahu is not the near term. I think there's a lot of unanimity in Israel on what to do in the near term. The real problem is going to come in two, three, four weeks time when the Israelis try to figure out what's the end state of this conflict.